What are you, Mussolini now? What's happened to you? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. yeah. You know, I gotta say, this suit. I don't think I've seen a suit like that. I think it's very. I think it's very sharp. I think you look. You look I great. I went to uh, Dolce and Gabbana yesterday. Okay. And I'm bringing their name up a whole bunch if I can, because I'm trying to get them to give me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> really? So Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. Did you I said, mention, you did said I that. Mention yeah, them? you mentioned that's a Dolce yeah. and Gabbana suit. It's really well made, really comfortable kind of style, and I, I, I like it. I went to their store yesterday. I was shopping around. There was a shirt, a patchwork suede shirt that I looked at, and I thought well, I could go there maybe. And I looked at it, and I sort of I tried to look at the price tag without them seeing. I was looking at the price tag, you know, so they didn't think like you know he's looking at the price tag. Because like celebrity, it's hard if a celebrity is seen looking at a price tag, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm really cheap, but I don't necessarily like people to know that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, the shirt was sixty-five hundred dollars. Who can spend sixty-five hundred dollars on a shirt? That's insane. Not me. Yeah. I mean. So so you so you took this suit. I, did you pay for it or did you not pay for it? I don't know if I paid for it. I took it and we're going to work the thing out <laughs> later. So If I were you, I'd keep mentioning their name yeah. over and over Dolce, again. Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. Dolce and Gabbana. No, it's actually, I really love this suit, but uh, I don't know whether they're giving it to me yet or whether I'm paying for it or if there's a discount or it's right. kind of getting worked out later. I so. think a few more mentions on a few more shows and you'll get that suit. Really? Yeah. And I'd like to mention just one more time, no one makes a better car than Porsche. <laughs> it's an amazing driving machine. Porsche. Feel the road. Now, you're, I, I, I you know, I was, didn't meet you till you came to the show, and uh, I've always thought you were great, and it was really nice to meet you, and then I found out you were a little under the weather. You're feeling a little... A I little... just got a, started to get a cold earlier today. Mm -hmm. So, um... I kind of thank you so much. Yeah. So we actually sincere. have a show sympathy light that flashes. Really? Yeah. I know. I felt like totally that was insincere, yeah. totally phony. Um, <laughs> just kidding. You're the best audience I've ever... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a pro. <laughs> no, I'm glad you brought up the cold because my nose just started dripping just literally an hour ago, and I was thinking, hey, I'm coming out to promote a cocaine movie, so... <laughs> So it's a cold. It's really People a cold. People are going to think he was researching the role, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, speaking of which, uh, you're, you're, first of all, you're getting great reviews for this movie. Yeah, People are very excited about your performance. Great. The movie is great. It's and really great. in it, you play, it's an interesting character, bisexual hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Did you, is that a role you got to research in some way or no? Um, I knew how to cut hair a little bit. Right. Um, <laughs> Yes. They are so far ahead of me, mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Yeah. Um, my only real bisexual experience was, you know, that you and I a long, long time ago. That, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Why are you telling them you're kidding now? That hurts me more. I'm afraid Johnny Depp might get mad. <laughs> uh, you know, well... <laughs> now, what a threesome that would be. Now, uh... Hey, come on. After that monologue, I can do anything. Uh, people are uh, hearing now that you're bringing Pee Wee, the Pee Wee character, back, which is... Everyone's excited about that. This is an... This is a very exciting thing. That's true. You're, plan you're planning some, some movies? Yes. And, and, some, and some products. You're going to come out with some Pee Wee products? Well, there was a couple things I didn't get to do. <laughs> this audience is mine. So, uh, just, really. That's right. I'm, uh, I'm trying to do some products that I didn't get to do the first time around. There were a couple things I couldn't get somebody interested in. And the first thing I think that's going to come out are scents. I'm gonna do. You're gonna do. I'm gonna do uh, a women's scent and a men's scent. The women's is I, one of two. I'm not sure yet. It's either uh, Pee Wee in Paris, <laughs> or uh, Eau de Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? People would buy that. They really would, would buy I Eau de Pee Wee. I hope they will. Yeah. I, I, yeah. And uh, the men is Pee Wee Pour Homme. Very nice. Or French. 
French feel. These are classy products too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do these? What do they smell like? These scents. Smell me. They smell just like me. <laughs> you think I've forgotten? Uh, <laughs> now. You are so quick, God. Now you said something. I want to. You said this thing recently in Time Magazine that has a lot of people talking. You said, uh, and you've mentioned this a few places, but I think it bears repeating, because it's true. You take people up, strange people that you don't really even know, you take them up on weird invitations. Is that true? Yeah, I just started doing it a couple years ago. Because, um, you know, people a lot of times invite me places. Like I'll run, in, run into somebody on the street and they'll go, I'm so happy to meet you. And, you know, why don't you come over for dinner? My wife will, you know, cook you a home, homemade dinner and she makes great, you know, whatever. And uh, I always, you know, write the number down and then throw it away. But I started to just recently think, you know, what would be so bad? Maybe that would be entertaining. <laughs> and um, so I've done it uh, maybe four or five times over about a three-year period. And I've had just lunatic, really crazy experiences. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow night's my next one. Is this, this is, this is for real, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to a Passover Seder tomorrow night. And... Uh, here for the Jews out there. Yeah. Ah. And um, uh, I, don't, I don't know anybody there. I mean, uh, uh, an acquaintance is taking me with her to uh, a Seder uh, across the street from where she grew up at the rabbi's house. Right. And uh, I got about a 30-minute rundown on all the people, like, the, you know, who was having the messy divorce and whose kid was... Uh, so, I don't know, I mean... And it's it gonna be, be so strange for them because you're there, you know, for no reason, really. Right. That's such a strange... I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, and this is something you wanna keep doing? You wanna do more of this? Uh, until I, um, knock on some wood, until I have a really horrifying experience. But so far, it's been incredibly entertaining and fun. Everyone's really nice and, you know, you get free food and... I told you I was really cheap, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay off this suit. Yeah, so exactly. what do we, uh, is there, you, you want to, so, so people watching now are gonna think if they see you that, that they can in, invite you, right? Oh yeah, well, anyone who happens to be watching out there and in all seriousness What do you mean anyone who wants, happens to be watching? This I mean, is the all most, the people watching. One of the most all, watched programs. To all the most watched people out there who watch the show. Um, <laughs> To all people of America. To all people of America who are watching the show, if you want to invite me somewhere crazy or, n or normal, like a dinner or anything, they could send it to your show. Like late a Night with Conan O'Brien, which some is kind. Uh, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, Suite, uh, it was 901 West. I'm asking you. Come on, what is it? I don't and know. New York, New York, uh, what's well, 10112, right? Okay. So or what is home address, which is. No. Which is. I remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were <laughs> and if I go on anything really crazy, maybe uh, take a crew or something, and I'll come back and show it. That would be great. Would you? Would you let yeah, us shoot be, that and then show it here fun. on the show? That would be yeah. amazing. Yeah, the rabbi already nixed cameras on the <laughs> Seder. But, uh, he was okay with it till he heard it was me. Yeah. Not that guy. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, one thing. Last thing I wanted to mention before we go, because we're running tight on time. But I heard that you send out the most interesting Christmas cards of, of any celebrity, that you were, you were the one that sends out the most rem you know, remembered and hard to forget Christmas cards. Me and Reba McIntyre. <clears throat> She's got good ones too. Okay. And Charlie Daniels also, Charlie Daniels. as a matter of fact, sends gifts in addition. I just send a card. I've been doing it about 20 years. I have like a different card every year. This past year, I used a picture from Blow. There was a Christmas scene in Blow. And uh, so I had Johnny Depp sitting on my lap with a big Christmas tree, and uh, that's the first of my... <laughs> you didn't get one out there, did you? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was thinking, I brought... I mean, you don't have to do this, but I brought... Last year, D Johnny Depp, so this is the beginning of my celebrity series. Right. And I was thinking maybe you'd take a picture and I could use it on the card, because I don't have one this year. I'd yet. love to be on your... I'd love to be on the Christmas card, yeah. So I, I got a, uh, a Santa beard... You want to do it now? Well, I mean, as opposed to when? Early February or March? <laughs> or all right, all right, I'll do it. Look, uh, do you mind if we just take a second and I'll... I'll... Oh, they have, Chris, they have stuff back here. Yeah, yeah. There's so a I'll beard. Just, I'll just move out here. Where do you want me? I'll move uh, the chair out front or something? Yeah, and is there, like, you got a still guy? Oh, there he is. Still photographer. Okay. Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute there. Okay, this is good. This is... Compelling television. Great. So I'm just gonna sit on your lap. This like could be anybody at this point. Just get like a couple of those
We got it? That was excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, Whoa, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> hey. Hey, uh, you know what? It was just amazing having you on the show. Thank Congratulations you so much. on everything. Thank Please you. come back. Thanks. Paul Rubin. Thanks.